Today we're going to learn about the two uses of the plus symbol in Alice and in other programming languages too. One is addition, which you're used to, and the other is concatenation, which is like pasting two values together. So let's start by creating a variable. We'll call it temporary. We'll make it a whole number variable and we'll initialize it to three. Okay, so now temporary variable is going to equal three. But I'm going to use the math function. And I'm going to change it to three plus two. So this is an example of the plus sign being used for addition. And the total will be five, which will be stored in the value temporary. And we're going to make sure that it's really that that's being held in the temporary variable. So I just made a say with an empty string. Then I'm going to concatenate it with the temporary variable. So, this should, eagle should say 5. Okay, he says 5 there. Okay. Now, the other thing we can do is we can concatenate, like we are doing here with this empty string, where it's like pasting it together. So, I'm going to disable this, and I'm going to have the eagle say, I have, then a blank. So, I've got a string here. You can say, I have. Then we're going to concatenate it with the uh, variable temporary. And then we're going to concatenate it again with another text string that says feathers. So the eagle is going to say, I have whatever the value of temporary is, which should be 5, because it will be adding that. And then it's going to concatenate feathers. It says, I have 5 feathers. So you can see since we can't add a string to a number, the plus sign has a different function, which is to put them all together. So we have concatenation here using the plus sign, and we have addition here using the plus sign. If you have two numbers, the plus sign will function as addition. If you have a number, like the temporary variable, which is a number, and a string, it'll concatenate. Or if you have two strings, it'll also concatenate. It'll only do addition if you have two numbers. Sometimes you have to be a little careful, and I'll show you one situation where you have to be careful. So let's say we're going to say, hello. Let's disable this. Then we're going to concatenate that with the number 2. And then we're going to concatenate that with the number 3. Now, you'd expect it to say, hello, 5, because this number and this number. However, it says, hello, 23. And what's happening is it's concatenating that string with that number, which turns this whole thing into a string. And then it concatenates this overall string with that number, so it becomes another string. So you have to make sure you do the addition first. And I'm going to show you a way that you could do the addition first. We'll say, hello. Then I'm going to say hello plus 2. Then I'm going to go to the 2 here. And then I'm going to go to math. And then say 2 plus 3. So you can see how this is written differently. The 2 plus 3 happens first. And then it turns into a string. So you can think about this thing here. This thing that's highlighted is like parentheses. And since that makes the this addition happen first, it happens before it concatenates to there. So you can say this and this happen first, turns into a string, so then the 3 has to be added onto the string, so it concatenates. Whereas here it adds and treats it as two numbers first, and then concatenates, so it'll say hello 5. We can say hello 2, 3, and then hello 5. 